Okay guys, so let me show you really quick how you can pull out fantastic displacement map or uh, depth map out of pretty much any image you may find or you may need. Right, so let's start with the installation of this fantastic add-on. So you just go to preferences and like as usual, just go to add-ons and install uh, the true depth uh, add-on here. So you may uh, see uh, the button that will require you to click it and download some uh, dependencies. So you will just click it and you will be good to go. If not, then you will, you're, you're good to go. Then just to save preferences and uh, we have our beautiful true depth add-on installed. So uh, you can use this, uh, this uh, plugin with this um, small model size, but I highly recommend going, uh, and, uh, going ahead and, and downloading the large one. And you will have this download it from here button, which you can click and it will take you to the dedicated page. Uh, as you can see, it says depth anything v2 large model. So just download it on your local drive. And then what you will do, uh, you will need to unzip the contents of the original uh, folder, uh, the original uh, zip file, this one, through depth. So you can either ex do extract all using this menu here, or you can just, you know, uh, enter it and just drag and drop it into the folder uh, above. And then you can just delete the original zip file. And now what you can do, so you just uh, copy or actually cut this uh, fresh downloaded, uh, freshly downloaded uh, model, and you have to paste it here into checkpoints folder. So now we have this large model in this checkpoints folder. Everything is good. So now what we have to do, we need to re-zip this, though. so recompress this into zip file, right? So just uh, go to compress to, select zip file, and we will be having the same. Um, add-on um, but now it will contain this nice uh, large model and why it's so cool because the large model will in, uh, allow you uh, to uh, come up with uh, much much more precise and high resolution uh, displacement maps so it will it will have an insane amount of details really I love this add-on it, it, it's it's really so so much easier than you know you know uh, using comfy uh, comfy UI or something like that so yeah let's just uh, choose the larger model and uh, uh, so we have here uh, these uh, modes different modes it's for um, this one is uh, for video so if you have some video file that you want to convert you will, you will choose that one and this one is for batch images, if you have some uh, sequences of PNGs, for example. And this menu is for uh, selecting where you want your depth map to be saved at, right? So you just uh, select. I, 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 usually I leave it uh, at this uh, beside original image. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's just open the folder where I have my uh, images that I want to convert. So I have a bunch of images here, as you can see. Uh, I have, uh, I have uh, some of them are AI uh, generated and some of them are just photos of real bass reliefs, and, you know, uh, which is even more cool. So this is the, I believe this is the AI generated, this one too. And for example, I have this one, which is a, a fantastic uh, real bass relief. And uh, so we will use uh, both of them. Right, so let's probably uh, start with this one. So just click the generate depth map and it will be generated uh, in a couple of seconds. So here you have the, the, the depth map. Let's just click create mesh and you will have it. So now it's a little bit skewed. Um, so we can fix that. It's really easy to fix that. So And, and by the way, now you, <laughs> you see that it's a little bit um, in low res form, but it's, it's easy to fix. So you just crank up the levels viewport setting here up to six. Uh, if you want, you can crank it, crank it up even more, but uh, it will it may be a little bit hard for, for uh, your PC, for your GPU to compute. So it's up to you. So uh, now by uh, tweaking this tilt correction uh, parameter, you're able to kind of, uh, uh, you, you just play with it and uh, find uh, the good balance where it's not uh, that skewed. Uh, so for me, this uh, value of one works perfectly fine. Oh, so now I have a couple of uh, copies. So let me just start <laughs> all over again. It's easy, super fast. So let me crank it up to six 
again. Nice. And now it's way too um, thick, so I have to downscale it down to probably 0.15, something like that. Works fine. And yeah, so this is the displacement depth. That's what it's doing. It's actually uh, thickening your or deepening your uh, relief. And these settings are basically just to crop out uh, the the, the uh, image you're trying to uh, convert into into the actual relief. And uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it just it, it's it's cool if you want to crop out some some details. And this uh, displace uh, detail is it's also quite cool and useful. As you can see, what it does, it it's kind of uh, to tweak the. The setting of the how grainy or how uh, sensitive to details it is, right? So it, I usually leave it at 0.1. Okay, what else do we have here? So uh, the other thing is this uh, material bump strength, uh, but but we will have to switch to rendered mode uh, for that to be visible. So let me create some area light really quick, something like that. And as you can see, guys, you you're able to get some really cool-looking, uh, realistic and bass reliefs, like reliefs, uh, sculptures, in no time, uh, without leaving Blender. So how cool is that? This is really fantastic. That's that's why I appreciate this add-on uh, so much because it it uh, allows you to do everything right inside of Blender, right? So this is really convenient. Because I remember that that I was doing it uh, using Comfy UI. Uh, well, it was also fine, but you know it involved a couple of uh, more uh, steps and you know installations, and it's just you know a little bit a tedious process. But with this add-on, you can you can uh, achieve so so many cool results, uh, not leaving Blender, and really in a couple of clicks, you're getting absolutely fantastic uh, results. So that's really cool. So I just created a couple of lights here to uh, create some a little bit more interesting uh, lighting going on here in this scene. And now we will be able to see the effect of this material pump strength. So it's up to you. Uh, you can just you know um, leave some some of the bump uh, in the in the scene. Uh, I usually tend to leave it at 02 or 01. And then you can, of course, just continue playing with the displace detail, uh, which uh, brings more uh, details and more grainy, you know, realistic uh, shenanigans into your reliefs, into your sculptures. Uh, TD Smooth, I'm not using that much, to be honest. So uh, probably this displace depth would be your uh, main parameter to tweak, so that it's uh, more or less realistic. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, basically it about the the process. How uh, this is really um, it, it's that easy, guys. Yes, literally, you literally don't have to do anything else. And let me just you know crank up the uh, the strength and the color a little bit, so it's just a little bit more interesting uh, for this viewport. Because probably I will, I'm going to use it for the uh, thumbnail of this video. Uh, let me see. So let's try actually and import another uh, another image which I have here. For example, this one. This is the real a real photo, right? So uh, let's generate the depth map out of it. Let's create the the mesh. And here's what we have. So uh, now it's a little bit uh, too thick. So let's decrease the, the, the strength of it a little bit. Uh, so let's go to this mode, solid mode, and let's decrease it. So as you can see, the displaced depth is now at 01 and I'm increasing the levels viewport parameter. So it's a little bit more uh, detailed. And now let's see what we have here in this place detail. So yeah, as you can see, if I increase it like crazy, it, it's like, it, it goes completely bananas. So uh, now I have this uh, uh, beautiful render here. And as you can see, it's quite detailed, right? It, it has all the crazy details that the original photo had. 
And uh, what's even more cool that we have the original photo uh, assigned to albedo spot, the uh, slot in, of this shader, right? So you can feel free to, to, to delete it and you will just have this clean plaster look. That's totally fine. And uh, yeah, you, you can actually uh, decrease or increase the roughness to make it a little bit more shinier or completely matte, up to you. So that's uh, about the uh, the shading and of course you can always you know uh, play with it more introducing some color ramp and you know tweaking its parameters to get even some some even more cooler look into it so kind of uh, so it's a little bit more uh, more interesting in a way right so the, the shading looks a little bit more realistic uh, so it, it has some more uh, dirt accumulated in the crevices and dents so yeah, and what's even more cool that you're getting uh, the the displacement map, actual displacement map saved along uh, in the actually in the same place uh, where you have the original photos, and as you can see, you have this uh, photo, and it's it's high res, and you have uh, the the depth map that is of the same resolution, and it's actually quite. Uh, it may seem that it's low res, but it actually contains a lot of depth data. So uh, if I will crank up the um, the levels viewport parameter up to eight here you see so now we have completely amazing uh, level of details going on here right so and by the way you can uh, you should probably decrease the strength in this case right if you, because you already have some uh, some really detailed look on the geometry level going on so that's a really fantastic add-on, guys. I highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in uh, creating uh, nice-looking uh, bass reliefs and sculptures like, in no time, really. Because with this approach, you can uh, you can decorate your interiors and exteriors um, really quickly, and you will get absolutely amazing-looking, very detailed results in no time.